What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So today I'm going to give you guys an update on the hornworms that I picked up not too long ago. Now if you guys go back a few videos, you will see that I posted a video about hornworms. Now I picked up 50 hornworms at the time and my whole goal behind it was to basically get them to eventually breed. Now if you want hornworms to breed, there is a process that needs to be done. You need to get the hornworms from there, you need to feed them, which by the way, I did buy the proper food for them that cost me $27.99. Ay, ay, ay. This, <laughs> like, man. So I was set up for, I guess, the ideal setup for hornworm breeding. I had the food, I had a good selection of hornworms, and I was excited because honestly, I always wanted to breed hornworms and learn the whole process behind it. I did try in the past and failed because I didn't have the proper food, but this time I'm like, I got the proper food, I have the proper setup, I have a good amount of hornworms. 50 hornworms, that's a lot. <laughs> and I basically uh, also didn't even give any to my bearded dragons, which they hated me for it because they saw me taking care of these hornworms and they couldn't get any of it. So at the end of the day, what ended up happening is that I did manage to get them up to size, nice and chunky, and some of them started to turn into this crystal. So once they turn into a crystallis, they basically go through the phase of turning into a moth. So you do need to give them a time frame. I, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know that they basically go from just being a hornworm to then being a crystallis to then being a moth. So. From that whole entire understanding, I did want to take the proper measures that they had everything that they possibly could have. That way I have a successful breeding with hornworms and I actually get a few hornworm moths. But I failed or something happened. I don't know what happened actually. So once they got nice and chunky, one by one started to basically die which to my understanding, I was doing everything fine. So I don't know exactly what went wrong, but I went from 50 to 10 to now just two. So I am left with basically only two crystallis from 50 hornworms. And honestly, that is not good numbers. And I'll be honest with you, those crystallis that I did get, I went from two to now what looks like one. So I went from 50 hornworms to one moth. At least if I had two moths, I could basically try to breed them and try to do something with it. I Maybe it was the temperature change in my room or something, the humidity. I don't know exactly what went wrong. The hornworms were doing amazing. They love this stuff. They got nice and chunky, so I do recommend if you are getting hornworms to get this, just to get your hornworms chunky so you can feed your bearded dragons. Um, they got chunky, they started to turn, and then once they were in that turning phase, they almost it's almost like they started to rot. And I did post, I guess, a video of giving one of them to my, horn, uh, to my bearded dragons, so they didn't go completely to waste, but they did die, and uh, it was unfortunate because now I only have one crystallis that could potentially turn into a moth. So I do want to give you guys an update on the ones that I do have left. Uh, the process was pretty cool, but at the same time, I'm pretty disappointed of the outcome from 50 to now only two. And one of them looks like it's dead. So I think I just went uh, 50 to one. So I do want to show you guys and I might even open it to see what's inside of the dead one because I'm very curious. It, I know it's dead because it's completely dried out and it doesn't look like, it, it smells like, trust me, it's dead. So I do wanna see maybe what's inside, but I am gonna show you guys that because it is pretty cool. So with that being said, let's go see these crystallis. So I just realized that I've been calling it a crystallis this whole time. I believe crystallis are for butterflies and pupas are actually for moths. But right in front of me are basically the two that are left. So right here, we have two pupas 
right about there. This one looks like it's really nice and really good. This one here doesn't look like it's going to make it. This one was actually the first one that turned and it is, I guess, almost over a month and it has not turned into anything. So I'm very curious to see what's inside. I want to open it, but a part of me tells me not to. Even though it is dried up like this, there could still be a moth inside. As you can see, it is hard. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comment section down below. Should I open this or should I just wait? A part of me says open it because it doesn't look like it's alive, but I've never had any of these and I don't want to harm what's inside just in case. And the reason why I say there's nothing in here is notice how hard this is and it just looks very dried up. And then if we look at the other one, so if we look at this one, this one has a bit of movement and it looks more plump. It looks ready to basically be a beautiful moth. So these two are basically what I have left of the hornworms that I bought, which I'm a little bit disappointed, but at the same time, pretty excited, um, especially if this one does make it, because at the end of the day, I waited so much, and I, I invested so much into this that hopefully I could at least get a few moths to be produced. That way I, I could say I did it, and I could also, um, maybe even have a shot of producing my own hornworms um with that being said i am not done with this kind of project uh <laughs> i ordered more hornworms to give this another try but i'm slightly disappointed that i went from 50 hornworms to then just two potential moths i do think that this one's going to make it fingers crossed but this one over here, it is dry as a rock. So uh, hopefully, you know, they both make it. That would be very, very exciting. But if only one of them makes it, I'll be happy because at least I succeeded to get a moth from uh, this whole entire process. But either way, this is pretty cool. Like, look at that. You know, and especially getting the whole entire process going, you know, I first wanted to learn how to take care of hornworms and now I nailed it but now taking care of them turning into this pupa that was where they basically just started to just drop one by one and I'm thinking it could have been some sort of temperature change because we did go from it being nice and warm to being really cold here in Canada and even though my room is fairly insulated and it has heat inside of here um I did notice that it was very, very dry um, around that time. So maybe that alone was the cause of it, but who knows? I'm going to try it again. I'm going to do some things, minor adjustments, do some things a little bit different. Uh, as you can see here, I have these guys inside of this like deli cup and I do have them on this cocoa Betty. So I have them inside of this deli cup and I do have them inside of uh, or on top of this cocoa bedding and it's slightly damp so it is rising a little bit of the humidity but it's not too too uh, dry where it basically dries them out and it's not too wet where it causes mold. So hopefully this is the key uh, to basically them and I noticed that once I switched them to this kind of uh, little tiny setup they did a lot better uh especially this one versus that one this one looks like it's gonna make it because i put it on this bedding that one it was more of a kind of like drier substrate and it didn't make it because of that but with that being said i am still excited to see <laughs> that something comes out i am definitely gonna keep you guys posted but like i said the whole entire process was a little bit you know stressful especially once you start seeing one by one starting to die so if you are looking into breeding your own stuff it's gonna be a learning process i'm already about i don't even know how much like how much money i spent say that's 28 dollars plus maybe the 50 dollars of the hornworms uh you know all that so it did cost me quite a bit and plus the time and everything sometimes it's best just to buy the hornworms uh yourself especially if you don't want to take care of them 
but I'm going to get this. I'm going to succeed on getting myself a beautiful moth and a beautiful setup of just hornworms being produced. So I am going to have a lot more. This time around, I bought 100 hornworms. So if I don't make anything from 100 hornworms, then I quit. <laughs> that would be the end of it. I quit. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I was going to open it but I decided not to. So in the comment section down below, let me know what I should do. Should I open it or should I leave it alone? Um, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. If you guys say open it, I'm gonna post about it in a future video. If for whatever reason, um, you know, it doesn't make it and this one does make it cause this one was like a lot less. If this one starts turning even more black and just goes wrong, then I'll, I'll make a video of showcasing the, the potential moth and then I'll open it just to see if everything's good. But if, uh, you know, if you guys tell me to open it, I'll make a future video the very next day, let's say, or maybe not. But I'll, I'll make a future video of uh, me opening it to see what's inside because I, I do truly think that it is not alive. But it's up to you guys what you guys think. Should I leave it or should I open it? I think I might just leave it but with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video of my hornworm uh, update breeding update so if you like the video be sure to like the video don't forget to hit that post notification bell button I even made a song about the notification look at me <laughs> no I seriously made a song so don't forget to make to hit the notification so, bell button I'm Lord Lion know. keep the blood pumping so I'll see you guys in my next so here video. it goes Peace. here we go you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit that notification hit that notification